text message about that lizard? Yeah, hey, did you get my text message about that lizard? Yeah, I'm headed over there right now. Just got a call from dispatch. Sounds like a really interesting case. A guy called and said that he had caught a, about a two and a half foot lizard in his backyard in Manchester. Hello, Mr. Hey, Tim, Jeff Pushy with Fishing Game. How are you? Very good, Jeff. Hey, uh, better now. <laughs> better now. <laughs> so, you got a, you caught a lizard? Oh, yeah, the big boy. Really? It's probably been in the yard since early July. Yeah. Do you know what type of lizard it is? I take you. I take you. Okay. 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 I'm not too far away. I can be there in like five or ten minutes if that works for you. Very good. Thanks. Bye bye. Thanks, Timothy. There are no native lizards in the state that I'm aware of. Uh, kind of neat, you know, get these calls every day. That's the thing I love about this job. A lot of stuff that we experience that the normal, you know, person in, the, in our general public wouldn't get to see or experience in their whole life. How you doing? Well, we've been waiting for this thing for quite a while. <laughs> I mean, we noticed it back in July. Had you seen him since you put the traps out, or? Uh, not interested in, in the tra trap until we got the drop trap. We okay. had used three, three times the, four the of the have a hard traps, yep. uh, putting various items in it, yep. never was interested. But it loved to stroll around no the kid. yard a certain time. Must Between be. 12 and 2 o'clock, we used to always see him. In the afternoon? Yep. And he's fast, too. Yeah. So that's why we knew we needed a drop cloth, because I tried to chase him with a blanket. Yep. <laughs> uh, he's pretty excited that he finally caught this lizard. Is he aggressive, or is he just... Holy smoke. This thing is going crazy in the cage. It's bouncing all over the place. It's snapping at the, at the metal bars in the cage. The thing is massive. It really is two and a half feet from head to tail, at least. I've never seen this in New Hampshire. Um, so it's, it's clear to me that it's something that someone had as a pet. It got too big or too much for him and let it go. This is a, an animal that definitely needs to be pulled out of the area that it's in. Who knows what it would do if it had a small child come up near it and, and corner it. Or... Just don't know how I'm going to transfer him into something else. Drop traps are bottomless, so Officer Pushy will have to transfer the lizard into a different container for transport. I'm gonna go get some gloves, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, everyone I know, so they have very big teeth. Teeth, yeah. This thing is fast, and I'm probably pretty sure it's gonna be aggressive when I try to muckle onto it, so I gotta figure out how the heck I'm gonna transfer it into another trap without it running off and getting away. I just don't want him to get away after all this time you've put in trying to catch him. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to open up this door and try to get him to run into this trap where we can secure him. So that's the plan. Hopefully it goes accordingly. Okay. Let's see if I can scare him into there. Awesome, perfect. Um, yeah, let's we'll calm him down for a minute. Give him a second to adjust to that trap. I can't tell you how happy I am to do this on the first try. Say goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> See you <Bye>. later. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed your stay. All right, well, thanks, Tim. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank thanks for coming. putting all the effort into Thank catching them. Wow. Well, We've got a lizard in a cage, and now we got to find a place to take him. Officer Pushy calls a local rehabber who works closely with New Hampshire Fish and Game. So I just called Maria Colby. Maria's specialty is birds. She rehabs birds um, and small mammals. But I was struggling to find a place that I could take this lizard. And uh, she said that, that she, yeah, she'd love to take it. And it sounds like a lot of fun. Never had anything like this in nine years of doing the job. Had all kinds of different exotic species and stuff, but nothing like this lizard. Hey, Maria. Good, how are you? Hey. Let's take a look at him. You can probably see better from back here. I can drop this down. I'll take him down to get checked out to make sure that it's not carrying any disease. disease. Okay. 
We can leave him right in that trap if you want, or transfer him over, or whatever you yeah, want to do. You can transfer him over. Okay, all right. I also set him in here. Okay. And then I can just take the cage and all right in my car to okay. Weary Animal Hospital. Perfect. Open the door and. Ready? I'm happy to say that this lizard is in the right hands now. Um, it's gonna be fine. Maria's gonna take good care of it. So everyone's happy, and that's the most you can ask at the end of the day. He is a bad looking son of a gun. All right, well, thank you, Maria. I appreciate it.